The Green Bay Packers released Kamal Martin today and also traded away Kadar Holman to the Houston Texans. Obviously just making room on the roster for wide receiver Tom Grassi. Welcome to another episode of Podcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Oh, gosh, it's time for surprise cuts already. Grassi, and today we're going to be diving in to a bit of a surprise today in the Packers releasing Kamal Martin, as well as trading Kadar Holman to the Texans. Hopefully we get a sixth round pick back because then we basically just traded Kadar Holman for Randall Cobb, and that would just be glorious all this in anticipation of the green bay packers cutting down their roster to 80 they have until tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern let's see what else happens before we get to that i want to do a big shout out and thank you to some brand new patreon members first we have luke birch upgrading then we have tom i scream along to the intro and i'm not ashamed of it grassy damn right don't you ever be ashamed of it we have samuel lynn and we have jonah a big shout out and thank you to you all. So let's talk about the Kadar Holman trade first. As of right now, as I'm recording, I do not have the details as to what was traded for him. Tom Silverstein said it was most likely going to be a late round pick. Kadar Holman, a big CB who has had flashes before, kind of on like that bubble of making the actual 53, though with Josh Jackson gone, maybe his stock would have went up a little bit. Goody said, nope, and decided to trade him to the Texans to get some value. And again, if we wind up getting a sixth round pick, it's literally like we traded Randall Cobb for Kadar Holman. So it's a win-win. And on top of that, the Texans are paying $3 million of Randall Cobb's salary. So win, 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 win all around. But the big story today was the Green Bay Packers releasing fifth round pick just from last year of the 2020 NFL draft, Kamal Martin. Now, Kamal Martin last year in camp, oh boy, he was great. He was fantastic, and looking at his tape out of college, this is a guy I was really excited for, not only because it was a position of need, but the guy, he was a big hitter. He definitely had that downfield momentum, and when he did make contact, it was usually pretty substantial. Unfortunately, he did get hurt last year with a knee injury, which definitely affected his play. And while he did start in six games last year, definitely wasn't great. And while he did start six games for the Packers last year, it didn't really look too good. Now, the thing was, this year, after the injury, you're like, okay, maybe maybe get some momentum going. Joe Barry's coming back. I've spoken about that a million times, how he's going to be able to transform these inside linebackers, and he's traded. Now, the Packers were experimenting with Kamal Martin at outside linebacker, which obviously proved to not be successful. Throw on top of that, you had the emergence of Chris Barnes last year. Oren Burke seems to be getting a little bit of resurgence under Joe Barry's defense. You look at Ty Summers, who's made some plays. And of course, Devondre Campbell, who we brought in, who everybody is raving about. Martin did play against the Jets in a preseason game this past Saturday. He recorded two tackles and one assisted tackle. And I'm not necessarily surprised that he didn't pan out, right? It's, it's a risk. He's a fifth round guy. But the thing I'm more kind of confused about is like he's shown flashes of potential. And this just seems really, really early to give up on him. You look at a guy like Oren Burks, who, again, I loved coming out of college. He's looked pretty good the past two games. But he's had a pretty long rope. For him to say like, hey, go out and try to get better. Now, he does participate on special teams. So, you know, there is that. I just think that with Kamal Martin, it, it just seems like rapid. And if it's just really, really bad play, that's one thing. I don't know if there's something off the field. I don't know if it's injury issues, what have you. But yeah, a bit surprising that they were just willing to move on from him after a year. So it's going to be interesting to see if the Packers add an additional inside linebacker to the team before final cuts. Because right now you're looking at Ty Summers, Vondre Campbell, Chris Barnes, and of course, Aaron Burks. So yes, there's a lot of upside and potential here, but there's a lot of unknown. Devondre Campbell's really the only veteran that's there who has proven experience. And Oren Burks, while again, he's had those flashes and had a really, really good first preseason game, there's just a little bit to worry about just because he hasn't really grown into the role, but maybe things will change. So again, inside linebacker looks to be a position that might be a little problematic this year, but let's see what Joe Barry is able to do with this core group. 
and if they decide to go and bring in somebody else just for the competition. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you surprised about Kamal Martin getting released? You think it's something else? What, what do we got here? I really wanted him to work out. I really liked his tape. But let me know. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy, all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course, YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, go Paco. Go.